Hello witches, wizards, and potterheads. Welcome back to my magical corner of the internet here on my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what I bought at LeakyCon Boston. I am so happy and so grateful that I was able to go. Um, it was it was amazing. And I got to meet so many people there. I made a lot of new friends, a lot of friends I got to meet in person from online. I also ran into somebody from my school, which was really awesome. Uh, I haven't seen her in a few years. And it just was really cool to be around a lot of other people who are super into Harry Potter too. Um, and I definitely spent a lot of time in the marketplace. I have things all over. Most of it is in here. Um, for myself, I mostly got pins. I'm gonna put shop names on the screen and in the description. Um, yes, so I will find links as well. If I can find links to online shops, I will put those in the description. This first thing I'm going to show you is a wand holder. Um, they had different kinds of wand holders. So this is one I picked. It has Gryffindor colors going up the side. And I'm gonna be using this wand to demonstrate because it was the closest one I had. So it just fits in there like so. And then with this specific one, you would just like clip it to your pants and wear it like that. So this like came in super handy. Oh my gosh, I can't get it off. Okay, cool. So this came in really handy throughout the convention because at first I just had my wand in my bag um, because I didn't want to be like holding it everywhere I went and that was kind of lame because nobody could see it. <laughs> um, so this was definitely like super awesome. Wow, I messed up my hair a lot. At um, LeakyCon, a big thing is ribbons. So I have on my pass, oh no, these ones came off. I have a ridiculous amount of ribbons on here and I didn't know that ribbons were a big thing at LeakyCon until like the day before I went. Um, so I didn't have any time to make any and like try and overnight them or whatever. So I just ended up buying stickers at the convention. Um, so I have these Harry Pikachu ones, which Luke Youngblood actually took one of these top ones and put it on his general pass. Um, I have these Luna ones, which I gave to some friends, which were super stinking cute. Um, these Niffler ones. I have Chocolate Frog Trelawney stickers, and Chris Rankin took one of these for his. And then I have an Akami in a teacup. Um, so these are all from Nerdy Paper Co. So super freaking cute stickers. And people actually really liked trading these with me too and putting them on their general passes. If you know Simply Potter, um, Brandy gave me this little Ron Perler bead thing. She made a bunch of them before. They're stinking cute. And let people just like take whatever they wanted from the bag. So I went with Ron because I don't actually have a lot of Ron things. So I thought that would be cool. And then my friend Mila gave me this cute little flying key. Um, and I believe the book she used for the wings was Goblet of Fire. Um, I think it was like an old copy that she had that was kind of battered and falling apart. So she made these super cute little keys out of them. I did not buy those, those were gifted, but they're super cute. Also, this bracelet was gifted um, to me by my friend Emily, who is the Nerd Jacket on Instagram. I think this was like the last Gryffindor one she had, and I love it. One of my friends, too, made bookmarks to trade, so I picked out this one. Uh, the colors kind of reminded me of Honey Dukes. <laughs> Okay, so I was gifted this little Gryffindor tie. I don't know actually who it was. It was just, uh, I think it was a mother-son combo who were walking around and had those for all the houses. So I traded some stickers. And then another girl gave me this really cute Hermione button that she made. Um, this was gifted to me by somebody handing out these constant vigilance buttons. Um, a lot of people will make things or bring things to trade besides ribbons, so that was really cool. One pin actually uh, Dan has, so I can't show you. Maybe I'll have him send me a picture and I'll insert it somewhere. So I'll show you these ones first. So I got three pins from Sunset Road Co. 
So this was the first one actually I picked out. Um, I just think it's really clever. I've been eyeing it on their site for a while and seeing it on Instagram. Um, of course I needed their Sirius pin because I freaking adore Sirius. As you know, if you have seen some of my other videos and then I got um, the little like entrance to Dumbledore's office. This pin is from Oddman and Tweak. So it's Hagrid's, um, what is this called? Oven mitt? Hagrid's oven mitt and then uh, Norbert's egg. And then when you open it, there's Norbert. And I had so much fun with this. This is the only pin I got from them this time around, but like I could have bought their whole selection if I had the money for it. This pin is from Litroy Crate. I freaking love the ladies at Litroy Crate, okay? Like, I can't, I can't even explain it, y'all. I can't. Um, so they released this, I think, either just for LeakyCon or they re released it at LeakyCon and we'll have it like online later. But I ended up buying this because the second day I was planning to dress as a Weasley's Wizard Weasley's employee. And so obviously this would go really well with that. So I bought that from them. Got two Potter Puppet Pal pins. So Harry and Dumbledore. And these are the two Potter Puppet Pals that I ended up taking a picture with while I was there. And my like 12 year old, 11 year old self was freaking out on the inside. So that was cool. Harry on his broom. From Nerdy Paper Co who made all the stickers, I bought a bunch of buttons. So we have Harry and Ginny. Neville, of course, the Pikachu Harry mashup button. I got Victor Crumb because he looks super freaking adorable in this. Dobby, which says such a beautiful place to be with friends, which broke my little heart. And then Luna with her lion head. <laughs> From Laser Brain Patch Co, which um, I have a million pins from them. So Stina is an amazing human being. She's like an incredible designer. She's also a, a mainer and works in New Hampshire. And recently I've seen her pins in store. So I think I have footage. If I do, I'll insert it. If not, I'll probably be at that store and go take some. But I like fangirled so hard seeing her stuff in a physical store like it was wild and i was so excited to go and meet her and ugh, i i just love her and her design and everything is impeccable um so she's actually the first vendor i purchased from and i purchased four pins so here is one it is not harry potter it's actually from over the garden wall which is an incredible show i think it's only like 10 episodes but it's very Tim Burton-y and I love it. This one, she like put on Instagram for the first time not that long ago. So it's Trelawney and her little um, crystal ball. So it spins, it's cool. I, I love this pin and when she posted it, honestly, I told them that I needed to like be on it the day that she dropped those online. Cause I was like, they're gonna sell it in seconds and I'm gonna be so sad if I can't get it. So I was like over the moon that she had it for sale at LeakyCon. And I got the teacup with the three brothers, which this one I've been debating online for like a long time. And then this Quidditch one, I'll take this one out. So this is also a moving pin. Oh no, Harry's stuck. Okay, so it's Harry going over Hogwarts. Um, so I think those are all the pins that I have for the moment. I got a commissioned ornament. I actually got two commissioned ornaments. So I got stuff um, for Dan as well. So Dan stayed with me in Boston. That's pretty loud. Um, but didn't come to the convention. He didn't want to. Um, but I still felt kind of bad that he was just like hanging out in a hotel by himself while I was having fun at a convention. So I got a few things. 
I'll insert a picture of his um, commissioned ornament. I did um, Jace from Magic the Gathering, and this vendor that did these was amazingly cool, amazingly talented, and I definitely like want more of his stuff. Um, so I'll insert that picture here. And then mine that I commissioned is Sirius Black, but in a Tim Burton style, and the, I am so obsessed with this. Like, oh, this is crazy, crazy good. And he put Boston Leaky down here, and it was so funny when he showed me, he seemed kind of nervous like that I wouldn't like it because it's not like Sirius's ask bin number or whatever. But I was like, that's so clever. I'm obsessed. And he did like the red for Boston and I just love it. Like I said earlier, I bought Dan the pin. So I'll insert that here again. Um, that pin is from My Hero Academia, which is an anime that he really likes. And I got him some magic cards. Not super exciting to show. I got him three packs. I don't know anything about the cards. Um, so yeah, just three packs of the newest magic card set that was released. And then the last thing I bought him was this lamp. My hair is like doing real funky stuff. Um, so it's a Pokeball with Dragonite in it, which is Dan's favorite Pokemon. So it comes with a stand to put it on and then a remote to light this up. So I'll insert some footage here. Then I got three headbands for myself. So this shop was called the Geekfinity and I bought three headbands for myself, one for a friend and I freaking adore them. So I bought this one to wear with my Weasley's Wizard Weezes outfit. Chris Rankin actually made a comment about it. So I love, I just like love how colorful it is. It has a bunch of their products on it. So that's super cute. Um, I went back later on and bought this one. So this is a quibbler and there's just a bunch of like their headlines and stuff all over this thing. So I also love how colorful this one is. And then the last one is a super cute like candy sweets headband. I love them. I love them all so much. Um, okay, so I have a few things for a friend, but I'm gonna wait and show those at the end so that if she's watching, she can click off. So I will show you the pictures and signings and things that I bought. So I got a picture with the Potter Puppet Pals. Like I said, I did Harry and Dumbledore. Dan was actually the first person I met. So here is our photo. And I had him autograph Quidditch through the ages. So he signed this on Friday. We got our picture on Saturday. So here's his autograph in there. So I bought the two of those. I'm gonna do videos more specifically talking about what it was like to meet all of these actors. So be looking out for that. I met Chris Rankin. So here is our photo. And in my video talking about it, you'll hear more about <laughs> this photo. Um, he was a sweetheart though, and he signed a copy of my Philosopher's Stone book. Um, so he signed over on this side. So at Chris Rankin's signing, he was handing out these pins that say, I've met the seventh best Weasley, hashtag Chris Rankin. So I also have this little pin from him. I met Dan Fogler. So this is our photo together. Obviously I had to have him sign my Fantastic Beast book. So if I can flip to the front, I'll show you. This is the autograph that he did for me. And then Luke Youngblood, oh my gosh, I freaking love that guy. <laughs> like, he was so fun to sit and watch on panels, so fun to like talk to. And so I got two pictures with him and two autographs because he's, I just, seriously, he's like my favorite person that I met out of the cast um, this weekend. So here is the first photo we took together. And here <laughs> is our second picture. And then he was signed to the other side of this book. So he's down here. So I have his first signature. And then I had him sign my Marauder's Map. Um, so if I open it over here, he signed up in that corner. 
so that is pretty much everything I bought. Um, obviously, I had to buy food for sustenance. Um, the only like notable things that I bought for food, um, one was at the convention, I bought a snitch witch, which is just like an iconic thing to buy. It's basically golden graham cereal and peanut butter on a sandwich. Um, and I used to eat cereal and sandwiches in like sixth grade and forgot that it was a thing. So that was cool. Friday night, I was so hungry after all the day's events. So I treated myself near my hotel to scallop and lobster ravioli. So good, like so expensive because it's New England lobster and scallops, but so good and I'm so happy I bought it. Sunday night, I went out to dinner with Chelsea and her husband Ricky and Brandy and I got tofu ramen, which was really good. Um, so that is that. Now I'm going to show things I bought for my friend Shayna. So Shayna, if you're watching, now is the time to click off this video. So the first thing I bought for Shayna, I am like still over the moon so excited about, is from Lit Joy Crate and I had been wanting to buy her this uh, like a while ago on their website and they, so I saw it on their website, um, wanted to like wait until my next paycheck or something to buy it and I went back on and it was gone. So I was so, so, so upset that I couldn't get this for her. So I freaked out when it was at uh, LakeyCon. So it is the Half-Blood Prince replica textbook that they have. So I opened this in my year six box of theirs. Uh, so it looks like that. And then you open it and they have the Felix Felicis potion in there. And it obviously comes with this stand. Um, to put it on. So this is Shayna's like favorite potion. She's obsessed with it. So I am so excited to be able to give this to her. Like y'all have no idea. Um, so I got her those two things. Um, she also is starting up a pin collection as well. I got her two and I'm also giving her a button. So yeah, she, she's, she's good. Um, so I got her two pins. So this first one, I'm glad I found. It's a Hufflepuff head girl pin. So I was actually going to buy this from Universal um, and then was excited to see it at the convention. So it's not quite as big as Universal's, but I still think it's super cute. And then I got her this like really pretty flower Deathly Hallows one. So this reminded me of Herbology, which obviously she's a Hufflepuff. So I thought that went like perfectly for her. The last thing I bought for her was a Geekfinity headband because I freaking love them. Um, so it's their Hufflepuff one. So it looks like that. And that <laughs> is everything I bought at LeakyCon Boston. So I definitely like need to just lay low for a while, let my bank account replenish itself after that weekend. So, yeah, <laughs> um, but I really love everything that I picked out. I did hold back, believe it or not, from buying a lot of different things, um, but I'm happy with what I did choose to buy and things I was gifted with, and it was amazing to meet members of the cast and friends from online and meet new friends and see one person that I knew, um, not from the internet. So yeah, it was just, it was really cool. And Hopefully I'll be at Leaky Orlando. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. All right, bye.